Okay, so it's the first time that we have the hybrid, right? Mixed mode, right? Uh, orientations for the uh, new MSc students. So first of all, welcome you all, right? Join this, right? Uh, Polyuse, join these programs. Now this year, actually, we have a very big, right, class. So more than 120 new students admitted this year. So you all are very lucky. And because uh, this year we have more quarters. So you will find that many students may applied for several years, but this year, lucky be uh, admitted. So that's a good news to you. Probably next year, maybe we have no more quarters. So this year is a special year. Okay. And also this year we have some uh, fellowships. So up to 25 students have got the fellowship from the government, which is a big money for you, right? So if you complete the programs within one year, you just need to pay a little more, right? Um, Touring fee, right? So 42K solely. Originally, you have to pay 160, right? K, and big money. Okay, so uh, anyway, take this chance. We have a very briefing about our department. And you see here that, so our programs keeps the name as the Master of Science in Building Service Engineering. So which, Okay, hosted by the Department of Building Service Engineer. So one thing is I would like to inform you that starting from the 1st of September, so the name of this department has been changed. So the department we are called, so I okay, tell you that Department of Building Environment and Energy Engineering, B triple E. So, okay, very good names, right? So B E E E, right? So. You may know the international very famous okay, institute, IEEE, right? So we are BEEE. So much better than the original BSE, right? Okay, so it's a job. So my name is Ming Li Chen, that are program leaders and right, responsible for the arrangement of the teaching uh, as well as the applications and admissions of every year of the programs. So together with the officers in the general office to make up the uh, criteria for the visions to evaluate all the elements. So uh, applicants to make a, a bottom line or meter shortlist, then uh, let the officer right, to uh, uh, issue the offers to students, okay? So in turns. Uh, okay, you know that the, uh, we are located in this Z block of the okay, Politic University. And here, so all these buildings, okay, almost majority of these buildings be used our faculties, okay. Okay, no move. Hmm? Why no move? Okay, so so in the ground floor, right, we have the okay, laboratories, many laboratories. Okay, so in the eighth floor is the general office and the staff office. And start and, and design and development, right? So uh, centers and BS laboratories also. And we have the, uh, also has some of the laboratories has been uh, arranged on the 10th floor of that buildings, Z block of buildings. So we have many, right, laboratories, okay, located in the ground floor and the eighth floor and also the 10th floor of these buildings. And the main, right, strategic, right, research team in this building, in this uh, department. So largely speaking, we have three streams in the research areas. So one is the so-called building energy, so related. This is uh, just the broad areas that are including all the energy issues related to buildings. And, and another one is the building environment, including indoor or outdoor environmental buildings that has the thermal dynamics and the HVC systems and uh, the Air okay, qualities, whatever environment issues that can be included here. Uh, another one is building safety uh, releases, right? Releases. So the building safety issues, you understand of that, right? Okay. And also the building fire engineer, building okay, um, electricity safety issues, and the building okay, uh, whatever safety okay, related issues that be covered by this area. We have a group of okay, uh, staffs that okay, engage in the research in these areas. We are also okay, the uh, group of professors in the building energy area and okay, in the, the building environment areas. We have famous okay, professors and visitor professors here. All these three streams. So 
So as the students, okay, you should understand what have been done in this build, in this department. Okay, so that okay, in the future, if you talk to others, you know, oh, that a building service engineer has been carried out okay, researches and also okay, teach us learning in these three themes. On um, building service engineer. So here is a briefing about the what we get department concerns. So you know, okay. So our office that get okay, we in living in our office, right? So we are living in the buildings. So the building most of the times, okay, we get okay, working with the buildings together. To, okay, particularly in the Hong Kong. So almost everybody are working with building related areas. So. When we talk about buildings that, of course, right, indoor environment, that including lightings, that including air qualities, and including the thermal comfort. So you feel all oh, very hot, you feel very cool, you feel that okay, breathing is not so good. So all of these are okay, the indoor environment issues. To provide you with comfort indoor environment, we require say, energy, okay? So to use the energy, we have to guarantee the safety of energy first, right? So the safety issue is the first issue of use of energies. So all the courses we are telling you how to first guarantee the safety of the use of energy, then to talk about the functionalities of energy use. So functionality second okay, priority. The first priority okay, is the safety. So when we okay, living in the, okay, uh, buildings. So we, of course, we are concerned about as we get okay, rolled here, the hot or right cool or cold. So the stuffies, so the okay, the things inside, and the polluted or not polluted, or whether okay, noisy or very quiet, or the voice okay, quality is very good. So anyway, we concern about all these issues. So that's the environment issues. So very important issues. Um, and okay, generally speaking, that you uh, largely speaking, we have so-called mechanical engineers, we have the civil engineers, we have electric engineers in this university or all the world. But what we department okay doing is that to extract important issues from mechanical engineer, from electrical engineer, and from civil engineer and combine together to get packaged as a very good right, package to get applied to the buildings. So it is closely related to the applications, closely related to the livings of the building, okay, of the human beings. So that's why in Hong Kong, this program is so popular. Okay, the both of the companies, even the government, government department, they encourage their okay, staffs to learn about these programs. Okay, so these programs therefore requires the applicants, also the students have the background of the NHP technology, mechanical okay, knowledge and the civil right background. So we, okay. that's why we given the priorities to the applicants okay, with these three backgrounds. If you do right have this background knowledge, that's good. So you will right, go through these programs easily. So however, some of the applicants may just from the physics background or from the maps background or from the even the chemical backgrounds, they have the capabilities to study these programs. So that's why we also admit students from that okay, background. But I should remind you that you had a bit to search some of the background knowledge in building service engineer by yourselves. Okay, so because that this is a master level right studies, they suppose you already have some very basic right fundamental knowledge about building service engineer. So if you do not have that, so you should learn by yourselves. So because we do receive some messages from the applicants or even the students, they said, "Oh, I'm graduated from the mechanical engineer. I have no the uh, background knowledge of the pipe and world pipings." So how can I get this knowledge? I tell you, right, in reading, 
that please go to the libraries, okay, to consult with the senior students or consult with the career professors to get some of the background knowledge from them by yourselves, because this program itself not right teach you that background issues. Okay, so also here, I would like to tell you some of you, because we do have the level five lectures that fix on the advanced knowledge about building service engineer, rather than the background knowledge of it. So if you in a short okay, of that background knowledge, please learn by yourselves in advance. Okay, so this is about the, uh, basically speaking that, okay, so in these programs, you will learn about some of the okay, subjects on the HVC systems, air conditioner systems, right? Energy efficiency issues about energy systems. Also, we have the subjects concerned about fire safety okay, issues, plumbing and drainage issues, and some chapters of some subjects. So, in electric powers and lighting systems, acoustics and vibrations, building environment, air quality issues. So also we have some right subjects on the facility measurement. So about orientations, commissionings, and so on. Okay. So the big concerns in recent years is their occupants health and well beings. So nowadays, you know that the okay, COVID-19. So why we come here and uh, wear the mask here because the occupants health and well being here. So, so nowadays we have a big right topic on these issues also. So many research topics or many, right? So professors, right, get funding for these issues too. Okay, so that's a uh, background, okay, issues. Of course, right, each of the three themes, okay, is not, okay, isolated from the others. Okay, so as a matter of fact, there is no areas that isolated from others. They're related to each other's, okay? So they have impacts to each other's. So here we have a diagram showing you that, okay? For all these, right, subtopics, all these big areas, how they're related to each other's, okay? So you can choose, right, study or okay, working in one major areas, but forget, right, do not forget that it is related to other areas in the building service engineers. Okay, so we do not talk in so okay, detail about this one here, just showing you uh, diagrams of that. And so here is uh, terminologies to define what is the building service engineer. Okay, uh, just with the statements here, the previous we have different images, different diagrams, and uh, showing you the detailed content, specific context, right? Here is a right yeah, verbal statements that showing you, okay, summarize the definitions of the building service engineers. So building service engineer has been a vital of the source of the skilled main powers to meet needs of the numerous okay, construction and buildings operation and the maintenance industry of the Hong Kong. So our building service engineer, this department okay, is the leading department in the world in terms of teaching and research in the building service engineer. Okay, strong links with the industry. So that's why here we change the names of a department, but we keep the names for these programs. Okay, we they argued with this one and all the members okay, in the senior right councils, they agree, oh, these programs names should be kept because the industry, right? Recognize this right programs because this name, right? Yeah. Okay. Ah, although okay, some of you register to come here to join these programs, but as the member, new members of this right department, you also should to know, okay, other programs hosted in this department, okay? Because in the future and now forward, it becomes, okay, one members of this department. So we have the postgraduate programs, we have the undergraduate programs, for the postgraduate programs, as I show here, that we have the Master of Science in Building Service Engineer. We also have the okay, a PhD, okay, doctorate, right, degrees, okay, in the, hosted by this 
que te va a mente, in different areas. Hmm. Okay, philosophy, right? Okay, uh, doctor in philosophy. And we also have another programs hosted by the right department, Master of Engineering and Building Society, yeah? A, we frequently, right, got questions from the applicant that what's the big difference between the MSc and the MAG? A, in one word, that the MSc is a mixed mode, okay, one year to one, 2.5 year mixed mode program that the students with the dissertation is uh, okay, optional, right? Okay, with an option, okay. But for the MAG students, one year full-time program with the dissertation, okay, must do, right, options, must do, okay. So MSc students can choose to start more three subjects instead of the dissertation. But MAG students must do in the, okay, must do the dissertations within one year, okay. A, now, what's the difference for future development? So if you choose the dissertation as one component of your studies, after right graduate from these programs, you got the master okay, in science degrees with research component. So if you apply, for a PhD studies, you are programmed be regularized with the research component. However, if you have no dissertations, you just okay, be regularized as the taught master program okay, students. And if you want to learn about your research, right, students as a research student for the PhD student, you should start from M field. That means you should study the master of philosophy then get to the dissertation, then transfer into okay, doctor of philosophy. That's the difference, okay? So if you just to want to get these right master degrees and then to study and working as an engineer, okay? Or as a chartered engineer, that's okay. If you would like to go study further for a PhD, right? For a doctor of philosophy, you had better taking the, had better taking the masters. That's and take the dissertations, sorry. Okay. And that's the difference. Okay. So we, uh, in addition to the uh, Master of Science in Business of Engineer, we also, as you know, we have the Master of Science in the Facility Management. We have Master of Science in the Fire Safety Engineering and Master of Science in the High Performance Buildings. Okay. So uh, among these all four programs, the Master of Science in Business of Engineers, okay attracting more applicants, okay? Because it is well recognized by the Hong Kong IE, right? Okay. If you apply for the Chartered Engineer, that's, that, that is a special divisions for BSG, right? And also the every year, they communicate with us how to arrange the subjects, whether the subjects meet their requirements or they adjust their requirements, okay, in uh, applying with the, uh, um, the subjects we taught here. Okay. So we arrange our subjects in the nine of the Hong Kong IE, or the Hong Kong IE in consultation with us to set up their okay, criteria for chartered engineer. That's the, okay. Okay. The, <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, for these programs, um, he has been okay, accredited by the okay, so the Charter Institution of the Building Service Engineer, CRBSE. Okay. So which, right, uh, the headquarters in the uh, United Kingdom, right? England. So uh, this year, because of the uh, uh, COVID-19, so the accreditation be postponed, right? And most likely to be carried out in the coming uh, uh, January, February, or even March, okay. depending on the situations, because they have to come here to have a visit, okay, 
and have a face-to-face -face discussion, face-to-face -face interview, and we have submit the documents to them in phase. So that's the okay, situation. So just now, okay, the previous accreditation has been uh, extended one more year. So no problems for you. Okay, do not uh, okay, do not worry about that. Okay, so it is still effective for the previous accreditation. If next year cannot be carried out, probably it move on to the move to the online accreditation. So don't worry about that. Okay, so you right this year this quarter students still has been recognized by the CRBSE because I received some messages from the applicants or new okay, students. They concern about the effectiveness of the accreditations of the CRBC. Okay, I'll tell you, right? So no problems. But the website maybe have no right writing that. Okay. So if you visit the okay, visit the website, maybe they show oh already expired, right? But practically it is effective. Okay. And uh, also that Hong Kong IE. Originally, Hong Kong actually so far has no accreditations about all the master of science programs in Hong Kong. They just uh, regularize it, okay, okay, silently. They, they regularize of it quietly, okay, but not carried out so-called accreditations. Okay, so starting from this year, they are planning to carry out the so-called accreditations and, and as the uh, startings for some of the programs, okay. A try, okay, a try accreditations. So our right programs probably, okay, in the end, by the end of this year or the beginning of next year, may be chosen by the Hong Kong IE as the, okay, in the starting list for the accreditations. But we don't know, right, okay. So in the future, maybe these programs can be accredited by the Hong Kong IE. And the CRBSE, we don't know the futures. But the UK now changing fast, right? So they, uh, the CRBSE, the headquarters, um, it's almost empty, <laughs> almost empty. So they have no right uh, uh, permanent staffs there. <laughs> To working about that, okay, and so we don't know. But the Hong Kong IE, of course, right, is a big right uh, associations here. They have the permanent members, secretaries, get okay, working for this institute, right? So in the future, we'll okay focus on these accreditations. Anyway, didn't worry about that. Okay, this will be a good programs that regulated by the Hong Kong Society. That here give you some examples of the laboratories that hosted by the okay, this department. We have many, right, many right, laboratories that concern about the building service engineer. So we listed, but not limited to okay, what we show here, as you can fire engineer labs, design development centers, low carbon building authority labs. So building energy and automation research labs, acoustics labs, HVC right labs, Intelligent building labs, okay, electric services labs, energy audit labs, pipe service labs, multifunctional chamber labs. So indoor air quality and thermal comfort labs, lighting and physics and protection labs, lighting labs, renewable energy labs, solar right simulation labs, indoor air quality, bio aerosol labs. Okay, we have many labs because it depends on the research right topics every year. Because this building, we have more spaces than the original old buildings. So we have more labs here. <clears throat> That's a good news to us. Okay, uh, okay this is uh, examples of Chris labs. You know that okay, in Dora. So the words has been specially right, processed. The Dora and also we have the CSS inside of also, okay? Uh, not talking in detail about this one. Uh, building energy automation research labs. So here we have few words describe what has been done by these labs and what is the focus okay, for these labs. Okay, uh, I think maybe you have no necessary to remove it. Okay, even 
me cannot remember of this right contents at this moment. So the design developed the centers that students can use in the computers, the indicators to draw and design some things using some okay, license, license, right? So uh, because then there are some many, many softwares that okay, and the university holds, okay, fine. So you can design, okay, whatever you want, okay, using different, right? Nice to right, license to right, uh, softwares. Mm. And actual services that labs, okay, which is a big lab actually. So show what here is just a, right. So a piece of the okay, uh, devices, but actually the lab is very big. So if some of you graduated from this department, you know that we have a big labs. Right? So fire okay, engineer labs. Okay, so we have a very big chapters while you don't fire engineer labs. Now you can organize some things there to make artificially fires then to see how to okay, distinguish it, how to make it right. So disappear to monitor the moves of the smokes there, smokes there to whatever things. And the okay, HVC labs, okay, so there are air conditioner systems, condensers there, chinners there, pumps there to show you how to okay, making the air be cooling down and can make the air distributed to different places in the laboratories. You can also to show your skills to control the distributions of the okay, cooled airs and also giving some strategies to the controllers and programming right, and so on. Okay, you also can change the fan speed, change the okay, motor speed, okay, change the chiner's capacity. So anyway, so um, okay, you can do whatever experiments you can do there. Indoor air quality and thermal comfort labs, okay. Uh, for example, they can uh, to, okay, um, to test okay, the feelings, perceptions of the people by using some right uh, things like this. In the intelligent building laboratories, okay, so they can uh, to visualize okay, the facilities used in these buildings in uh, panels or in uh, okay, control okay, centers, okay, and using different right the intelligent sensors, okay. and the peoples can buy programmings by by okay, some of the uh, modern facilities to have a look of the overall facilities inside the buildings, and also can control the energy flows okay, to monitor the energy flows in the buildings, okay, to optimize the use of energies in the buildings and so on. <clears throat> Lighting laboratories are also very interesting because the uh, originally that in these buildings, we have the projectors, we have the videos, we have the lightings here. So we have to design lightings effectively. We should make the lightings be feel compact, right? Besides of this one, we also consider about the visuals, right? So we should make in, okay, the visual comfort be here, right? And we should right, focus on that, how to design the lightings inside buildings. And also nowadays, all of you are using the screen like this, using the mobile phones, right? So you are concerned about the color qualities of the right mobile phones, right? So the color, how to make the colors be good, be a real colors. Okay? How making the cameras be have a very good right visions in the evening, even in mornings. So we do such a research. So in the Latin laboratories, they have uh, many, many projects cooperated with the famous okay, companies in the world. Okay. Okay. So they do a note, right? Okay. Comparisons of lighting, comparison of the colors, okay. Combination of colors, recognitions of colors, visualizations of colors. Okay, mm. so that's very interesting. Mm. And we also have the lighting physics and protection laboratories that to monitor the lighting activities every day to detect the physics, right? Detect the, 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 the thunders, right? By lighting, detect the lights, right? From lighting, detects the electromagnetic fields, right? Emitted from lightings to monitor the current from lighting. So also very interesting things. 
So we have students doing on that. Okay. Because this is very difficult because it this events is very fast, right? It goes very fast in seconds, right? So you should monitor it in a microsecond scales. Nowadays we monitor it in the nanosecond, okay, nanosecond scales. So we can catch up the images of the lightning screen, okay, at one million uh, frames per second. One million frames. Very curious. And also we can remember that a catch up the, the, the electromagnetic field, right, radiated from Latinus at a different distances. And with that, we can retrieve that uh, how big charges, how many currents that flow on the channels and where and how they occurred. So it is closely related to the physics fundamentals, physical fundamentals, because it has the optics, it has the electromagnetics, it has the acoustics, right? It has the whatever. It also creates new air okay, components. So okay, making the okay, uh, different, right? We say the elements, right? Combined together, right? To form new, right? Okay, molecules to form new, right? Component, right? Okay. Uh, low common building theology labs, okay. So uh, here, okay, we consider about okay, a different, right? So environment issues in terms of efficiency for energy uses. We also, right, okay, to consider about, okay, the indoor, right, VOC, uh, indoor, right? So uh, we say the uh, aerosols, okay, and the distance of the CO2 and whatever. Okay. But what we cannot see here, now in air, we cannot see here, but we can see in the laboratories using the instruments okay, to see what's the density of the CO2, what's the density of the oxygen, what's the density of the density of the okay, VOC, what's the density of aerosols, what's the size of different pollutes. All this we can just see on it. But some of you may okay, choose them to do in the dissertations. Some may not, right? So, if you're doing uh, dissertations, you may touch in deep okay, in one or several areas of it. Okay, so multifunction chamber of laboratories that okay, there you can do many experiments in different way, uh, which is a combination of chiners, boiners, okay, hot okay, water pumps, air handling okay, plants, okay. And mass supply, okay, uh, supervisory control and data acquisition centers. Um, this is as right, multifunction chambers, pipe services laboratories, okay, I think, okay. The pipes not just for waters, right, but also for the gas, right? So uh, many of it, not just limited to the water. Mm. We have fresh waters, we have the okay, flash waters, okay. Renewable energy, okay, laboratories, okay. So we okay, talking about, okay, how to use in the renewable energies, the solar energies, the wind energies, okay, hydrogen energies. So, and how to make in the energy connections be effectively by using different materials, okay, by using different way in different area, and hybrid new renewable energy and so on. So anyway, so this is a very big, okay, areas very big areas. Every year we create, okay, create, right? So more than 10 PhD students from in this area, okay. Solar simulators, okay, which we using this one to simulate the solar radiations. Then to test the different materials, test different solar PVs, right? Okay, panel systems and so on. Okay, so here is a very, Okay, brief um, summaries of the current research areas in building service engineers and for use, not limited to this one. This is just giving some of keywords of the research areas carried out here. So here is some pictures that are showing you that, okay, some pictures related to the research teams, okay, in this uh, department. So you look at here, fires. So already we have a note of fires all over the world, okay, the forest fires, building fires, indoor, outdoor, okay, causes rise of big, right, property and the human beings, right, characters. And then here is that some of the, okay, buildings integrated, 
for robotics that in the Hong Kong areas, so which hosted by the, our department, the researchers. Okay, uh, and also, okay, the wind powers, we also write concern about the wind powers in the offshore areas, we install the wind turbine, okay, to okay, generate okay, energies to supply to some of the okay, users. You look at it here, okay, we have the wind, right, installed here, okay. Okay, wind turbine. Hmm. Of course, if you have the wind turbines in the fields, so you think the safety issues, the wind turbine is also very important, right? So every year I found a storm uh, stretching on the wind turbines, making wind turbines broken, work out, whatever. So they have some okay, facilities to protect against lighting. Okay, so building automations and okay, and so, for example, a typical okay, example is the, the international commercial commercial centers in Hong Kong, which is a big building that consumes a huge energy every year. So, the demand is used in energy every year. So, it's, okay, it's a million, right? It's so, no, not a million, a billion, right? So, very big one. So, saving energy there is of course very important issues there so our professors okay working on that so save up to i um, forgot right 30 or to 40 percent of energies there to save the money it's a big money there using the so-called intelligent control systems or strategies there okay so here also there is a uh, right okay uh flow chart to showing you the structures okay of the so-called building environment issues that actually consist of several elements. So you can work in whatever elements to contribute to the building environment issues. Uh, okay. So interior buildings, uh, the here also is a diagram showing you what does mean by the intelligent buildings. Okay. So not just locally, but also globally, but also the city-wide. So we can construction the okay, infrastructures that can make us to have uh, intelligent uh, cities, smart cities or smart buildings or smart classrooms, okay, smart campus. So that's the concepts of it. Okay, so this is a briefing of the building as a, uh, and so the building services department as a whole. So that okay, you not just know the things about your program, but also know that where you are in, right? You are now in the building service engineer department future, it is the department of the building environment and energy engineer. So you should know what have been done there. Okay, that's it. Uh, okay, so anyway, this is a, a briefing of the department itself. Uh, now we are letting me to pull. I would like to close this uh, um, our point. And we come to this program itself. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, what's happened to it? Okay. Okay. Can you see the screen online? This okay, the students online. I think you should get yeah. a CD. Okay, so I think they, all of you have already downloaded this, right? Students' handbooks, right? So there you have detail, right? Okay, issues of uh, detailed information about this program itself. So I hope you all, right, already okay, go.
go through this right hand books. So leave this here. I would like to uh, emphasize several issues. Uh, here, uh, you can read in detail about it, okay, by yourselves, but uh, uh, the programs, okay, the program intent learning outcomes. So you can see of it. Uh, okay, a further explanations about the course issue there, okay. So for these programs, if you do not, take the dissertations, you have to study complete 10 up to 10, three, okay, three credit courses, now 30 credit, right, 30 credits. So among that, we have four compulsory subjects. Everybody should okay, complete these four compulsory subjects for graduations. In addition to these four right core a uh, uh, compulsory subjects, you have at least learned at least learned three core elective subjects. Okay, three core elective subjects. Uh, uh, in past few years, every year we have one or two students. Probably two students are very good friends, so they choose the elective subject, but ignore whether it is the core elective subject of the. Uh, uh, elective subjects only. So at the end, they found that they just finished complete two core elective subjects, okay? With four elective subjects, right? So therefore they cannot graduate because they lacking one, okay, core elective subjects. So they have to extend their graduations by one semester to take one core elective subject. A, and also, I got some message from the existing students. They're confused with the core in the subjects and in the subject, asking me which one is the core in the subjects. So every time when they ask me that, I said this page to him or her. <laughs> so that's why I okay, repeatedly ask you to read the handbooks first, understanding. So, so this is the compulsory subjects. You arrange your studies okay, reasonably. So that if you plan to graduate within two years, you at least each semester to take in okay, one compulsory subject, right? Or you just try to finish it in one year, make sure that every semester at least okay, complete two compulsory subjects. And because that in the e, okay, a academic registries website, there has no signs telling you that this subject is a core subject, this subject is compulsory subject. They have done that song, okay? So that's why some students confused with that. But you sh yourself should know, oh, this is the core subject, this is compulsory subjects. The website show you each subject is the equal, right? It's the same issues, but you are, it's your responsibility that to recognize which, right, subject is the core subject, which subject is the, okay, Compulsory subjects, which is just a general elective subjects. A, the second point. The third point is that the core elective subjects must be chosen among this list. For the other three elective subjects, you can choose from this to here. You can also register for other right uh, project uh, subjects. Uh, host by other department, but level five, but level five, must be level five, not level four. For example, a uh, subject listed here, of course, is recognized by our department, but some of the subjects okay, hosted by the civil engineer and level five can okay, also be recognized by it. Okay, so the must do things is that four component subjects, three core in subjects. And other three elective subjects regularized by the okay, universities. Of course, before you register for the okay, elective subjects hosted by other department, you should first write to me to get approvals. Okay, do not write the decided by yourself because otherwise you cannot register for that. If you register directly there, they're telling you no quotas at all. Okay. For example, if you try to register one semester, one subject okay, hosted by the RSGI, 
used to tell me then I could tell their secretaries of the faculties and faculties write to the, the program leaders there. They agree you to register. Then we can arrange your register. We can open the register online for you. We can register for it. So if you directly register, you almost have no, okay. This 10 of you, okay. The, the quota is full, okay. Let's see. Uh, and also, if you want to take the subjects hosted by the other faculties, not faculty of the okay, uh, civil engineering. Okay, so uh, then um, we should first to evaluate the subject whether related to okay, our right faculties. Okay. If not, probably not regularized because you are doing study about the building service engineering. You should study the subject that help you, right, in this area. Okay. So, for example, you want to take the uh, arts, right? Taking the okay, uh, uh, um, literature, something like that. And so then we cannot regularize that. Okay. Uh, okay. So since all of you already be admitted here, we have no necessary exercise on the interest requirements. Okay. Already be here. Uh, Okay, I think then that's what I should like to convey to you today here. So if you still have some of the problems or questions that want me to clarify to you, so you can ask me, right? So here in the classroom or online while you're writing in the chat books. Okay. Uh, so should I okay, close this uh, PDF files? So how do I ready? So particularly from the all students online. So if you have some of the questions or problems that need to further clarify to you, you can use in the chat box if you uh, are shy to talking, right? So if you would like to hear your voice, you can write there. Okay. And the onsite okay, students, so any further questions you'd like to raise? No, right? So that means you're so right, smart, you understand all things. But that handbook is very clear, right? Mm, handbook is very clear. And also actually you go over around that, then that's okay. Mm, that's almost no problems. And remember all the classes this year, I uh, carry out in a hybrid mode. So that means face to face, uh, synchronized with online. Mm. So students also can uh, attend the class online all over the semesters because we have overseas students, overseas students. Particularly that for the, some students, they are, they are working further. They are lazy come here because they are tired, right, come here. So they can later on to review on the recordings, right, on recordings. So make sure we are uh, remind all lectures, make sure that make right video rec okay, records for okay, each classes they have. Okay, so that you can review the time. But I'm not sure that okay, uh, because um, all of the classes, right, will be carried out via the Blackboard. Okay, rather than the Zooms. But today we use the Zooms. So but our professors using the Blackboard, okay? Can out the work. So in the Blackboard, probably they share screens, right? Share the PowerPoints, you can see it, but they probably most likely they do not use in the videos in the centers of these theaters. Okay, but today we use it because we are using the um, Zooms. On the Zooms, we can easily select the videos using the computer videos or using the external reason like there. Okay, but in the blackboard, at, at least to me, right? So we have not yet found out the way to use it. Okay, so we probably just using the videos on the uh, computers. So we're using okay, the blackboard functions to share the screens. Okay, and also we may using the projectors to write things there. Okay, 
So a uh, run things on the projectors and then uh, show you, right? Why the screens or even online, okay? So in that way, we do not use in problem. Most likely we do not use this one. Okay. Because we write it here, but it cannot be, okay, take records on the videos there. So face-to-face -face student can read it, but online student later on cannot read it. So we will remind the okay, lectures, try to use in the projectors here. Okay, using projector here to write things here to share a, let me try. So we can share. Uh, that's the visualizer, visualizer, visualizer. Oh, here. Hmm? Why no? Sure to be nice. So we can share the with Eliza, right? So, so, so that online can can recall this one. Okay, so we can write things. What happened to you? Hmm? Not connected. Okay, here I'll come back to you. You are screen share, eh? Why not? No move. Uh, anyway, so. Didn't write the okay, recognized here. Well, anyway, theoretically we can share right so, and uh, a uh, visualizers here. So we're using okay right here on the okay on the projector there, right on the papers that can be projected here and can be recorded. So the writing should be no problems. Okay. Uh, what else? Oh. So uh, what's the time? Almost one hour, right? So okay. So any uh, any more questions? Okay, from on our students or on floor. <laughs> so it seems there's no problems or questions from the online students and all on floor. So shall we close the sessions? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So anyway, so you can, uh, if you still have any problems or questions, you can feel free to write to me via the emails. I think you know my email, right? So I will write to me best to explain and to you okay, in writings, okay? Also, you can call to me, right? Occasionally, I'm, I'm not in the office, right? If you call me, you cannot, okay, reach me, but write emails. That's where bit get good things. So, okay. So we close these sessions. See you all in the okay, next week.